Hello and welcome to the ebidlocal.com tutorial on how to upload files to ebidlocal.com using FileZilla. My name is Mark Deutsch. I'm going to walk you through a quick tutorial on just how to achieve this. Generally when you want to upload your inventory files, your inventory spreadsheet, as well as individual pictures for events that you happen to have. You're going to involve hundreds of items in many cases, so this makes the process very quick and very easy to upload your files and upload your pictures to Ibid Local so we can hold your particular event. First, you're going to receive an email from our office, likely from Stacy Carroll, who is our head of all events, or one of the other staff members, if she's not available, that will have an instruction sheet called ftpclientinstructions.pdf that will walk you through step by step and how to achieve this process I'm now going to show you in this brief video. Also, within the text of the email, you'll receive your unique username as well as your password that you'll need in order to use this system. So after you get this email, you merely double click on this particular document, open it up as a PDF, which is a very common software, so you should have no problem opening up this document, and you'll see a link here that we recommend you click on. You can also see briefly what the FTP client instructions are, and the FTP client is this type of software we use to real quickly upload files to our server so we can access them and get your event up and running for you. So after you take a look at the FTP client instructions, click on this link. Once you click on that link, that's going to take you to a separate website. So let me click on that here. And you'll see it's going to open up my browser. And just so you know, I happen to be using a browser called Google Chrome, which is my preferred browser. Uh, if you are using Internet Explorer or any other type of browser, this interface might look slightly different, though the concept is the same. So when I get to FileZilla, I'll then click on the software that's appropriate for my particular platform. I'm using Windows in this case, so I just click on Download Now from SourceForge. And after I click on that, it's going to go ahead and initiate the download of the software that I'll need in order to run the FTP client server. Now this is asking me a couple of questions here. If I want to fill out a survey that is not part of the download, so that is not something you need to worry about, you'll notice down here on my particular computer, this file is now downloading. It is a 4.3 megabyte file, so depending upon the speed of the internet access you're using, whether that's a T-line, uh, a cable modem, or if that's Fios, for example, that'll affect how quickly this file is going to download to your particular machine. But it should take no longer than a, than a minute at the most, I would say. So the file is completed. I go ahead and double click on the file. Then it's going to open up a window saying, hey, are you sure you want to run this software? In which case I say, go ahead and run it. That will initiate the installation process. It's going to ask me again, are you really, really sure you want to do that? I'm going to say, yes, I would like to do that. Then it's going to give me the license agreement from FileZilla. So you review that and then click on I agree. In my case, I just choose all of the defaults for my installation options. So I'm going to say next. I'm going to say next again. I'm going to say next again, and I'm going to say go ahead and install. And at this point, the software is being installed directly on my machine. So I give that a few seconds, depending upon, again, the speed of your particular machine. That's already done. Now I click on finish. It's going to go ahead and open the software. Now this is where I'm going to need a few pieces of information that I got from this particular sheet. For example, I'm going to need to provide the host. So this number right here is what the host is in this box 70.88.189.173 I just go back over to FileZilla and that's the number I'm going to put in here 70.88.189.173 then I enter the username and the password that was provided for me by Stacy or by our staff I leave the port option blank and I click on quick connect and once I choose on Quick Connect, I'm connected to our system. It's as simple as that. Then all you do is use this box here to find where the pictures are of the files and documents you want to download. They'll then show up down here, and you simply drag and drop those files to this folder. So find the file on your drive where you have your spreadsheet as well as your pictures. Click on that. They'll then show up down here. You drag and drop them onto our system, and voila, you're all your files and all of your pictures will be uploaded to vidlocal.com. If you have any questions, please be sure to give us a call or shoot me an email. Again, I'm Mark Deutsch from ebidlocal.com. Have a great day and remember to give your local treasures global bidding.